my strength this hour, Jesus. You're my deliverer, yes, you are, It's too late. These are the words that no one wants to hear while standing before our Father. You know, right now we have an opportunity to decide on where we will be spending eternal life as we live out our lives in this temporary body. Think about this. There are those of you out there that don't know Jesus, don't believe in Jesus, and simply don't care. So you live, breathe, and walk in this unbelief, taking every opportunity possible to disrespect him. You know, your clock is ticking towards the words, it's too late. There are those of you out there that say you know Jesus, yet you are living, indulging in the sin of this world as if he doesn't exist. There are those of you out there that know who Jesus is, but you play around in the sin, strongly believing that somehow you were promised tomorrow. So you wait. Your clock is ticking toward the words, it's too late. There are those of you out there that honestly believe you have to fix yourself before presenting yourself. So you continue to live a sinful life, hoping to be good enough for him later. You just don't understand that Jesus meets us where we are. And there are those of you out there with a traumatic experience that turned your back to God, no longer believing that he exists. Your clock is ticking toward the words, it's too late. So whether you don't know him, don't care intentional about indulging in sin, believe you gotta fix yourself before presenting yourself, or believe you have all the time in the world before meeting him, listen to these words my father gave me out of Romans 13, 11 through 14. This is a warning. This is all the more urgent for you to know how late it is. Time is running out. Wake up, for our salvation is nearer now than when we first believed. The night is almost gone. The day of salvation will soon be here. So remove your dark deeds like dirty clothes and put on the shining armor of right living. Because we belong to the day. We must live decent lives for all to see. Don't participate in the darkness of wild parties and drunkenness. Or in sexual promiscuity and immoral living. Or in quarreling and jealousy. Instead, clothe yourself with the presence of the Lord Jesus Christ. And don't let yourself think about ways to indulge your evil desires. We must wake up. Do you not understand how many people God is removing from this earth right now? It doesn't matter how old you are. I shared on a previous video what he said. He said, then I will have mercy on those I have mercy and I will have compassion on those I have compassion. Do you know how many people wish they had tomorrow to get it right with him? Do you know how many people had tomorrow to get it right with him? But they never did. Now they stand before the maker and it's too late. Just like children live their lives in the moment, 
not honestly thinking about the consequences coming until they come face to face with it. We do the same. We live our lives indulging in the sin of this world, not thinking about the consequences until we come face to face with the maker. But then, but then it's too late. So much is unfolding straight out of the word of God, just as he said it would. It's undeniable, yet we sit in denial, living our lives as if these events that are happening all around us are normal. As if these events happening around us aren't warning signs straight from God. Yet, we live our lives as if God is proud of our behavior in the United States of America that looks like Sodom and Gomorrah, a country full of sin. So if you would just stop looking the other way, take a moment and open your eyes, you will see there is not much time left in Matthew 24, 37 through 39, Jesus said, For as were the days of Noah, so will be the coming of the Son of Man. For as in those days before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage until the day when Noah entered the ark. And they were unaware until the flood came and swept them all away. So will be the coming of the Son of Man. Now, let me place emphasis not necessarily on the wickedness. Oh, we know there's plenty of wickedness all around us. But specifically on the lack of awareness of what was at the door. Likewise, right now, the same thing is happening. The people in Noah's day were living their normal lives, oblivious to the fact the end was near. Once they realized it, it was too late. Likewise, in Luke chapter 17, verses 28 through 30, this lets us know it was the same in Sodom and Gomorrah. It says it was the same in the days of Lot. People were eating and drinking, buying and selling, planting and building. But the day Lot left Sodom, fire and sulfur rained down from heaven and destroyed them all. It will be just like this on the day the Son of Man is revealed. Once again, we are not putting emphasis on the wickedness because we know there was wickedness in Sodom and Gomorrah. I mean, the sin was out of control, but on the lack of awareness that was present of them not even understanding what was coming. These people were about to be destroyed. Hear me. They were about to be destroyed and they did not have a clue. They were still living their lives, indulging in sin, not understanding what was about to take place. Likewise, in the United States of America, God has given warning after warning after warning in the weather. The earth is crying out. Yet and still, we live our lives to this very day, April 2022. We continue to sin, perverting his children right now. We do all kinds of stuff. And we won't heed the warnings. It's like we just keep living our lives, indulging in the sin. And we just don't have a clue what's about to happen. Because if we did, we would not continue to live in the sin that we're living in. We would not continue to try to pervert his children. We would not continue to try our best to look like Sodom and Gomorrah. What? Oh, my God. 
Guys, y'all don't understand what's about to happen. This is yet another warning from God that we must change our ways. We must repent. We must stop doing all the evil and wickedness that we're doing. And most of our all, we need to wake up. How can this stuff be happening and we still don't get it? We still indulging in as much sin as we can find. I just, y'all, y'all don't understand. <laughs> you don't understand what's coming. You got to get it together. We got to get our lives right with Christ. We got to get it together. We cannot continue to be unaware. It's, we just can't continue to act like nothing's happening. We just cannot continue to act like everything that's happening right now is normal. We can't continue to do this. So, as I send out this warning... I pray that you take a leap of faith in my Father, my Father God, in His darling Son, Jesus. I pray that you take a leap of faith in believing who God really is, the one true living God, Alpha and Omega, the beginning of ending of all things, the one that never had a beginning. He never had an ending. He simply is. And he sent his only begotten son, Jesus, just for us. I pray that you will put your faith in him. I can't tell you how blessed I've been for doing this. How blessed I am for believing in who my father really is. For believing in my savior, Jesus. No one can say it better than Jesus. Let's look at John chapter 20 verse 29. As he speaks to Thomas, Jesus said, because thou hast seen me, thou hast believed. Blessed are they that have not seen and yet have believed. So what does blessed not just blessed in present tense, but what does being blessed by the one true living God looks like in the future? Let's look at Revelation 21 verse 4. He will wipe away every tear from their eyes and death shall be no more. Neither shall there be mourning nor crying, nor pain anymore. For the former things have passed away. And he who was seated on the throne said, excuse me, behold, I am making all things new. So for those that believe, for those that get your life right with Christ, you can take great comfort with no matter what's going on. There's so many devastating things going on right now. And people are not paying attention to God's warnings. The way he's removing people, guys, it hadn't even begun. This is just the beginning of what's to come. For those that believe, for those that get your life right with Christ, you can take great comfort in the words, I am making all things new for you. For those that don't know him, don't believe in him, and don't care, and those that are intentional about indulging in the sin of this world and those that believe you have all the time in the world to get it right with him. If you get caught, you will hear the words it's too late. 
Until next time, please get your life right with Christ before it's too late. And be blessed.